Oh, hello everyone. This is Comrade Sirius, and welcome to episode 69. As you can see, this is a new bus that's, come, that's going around. It's Carasa SM11. And yes, that's our new tourist bus that's hauling tourists into our main town, into Arlington. It's still a main city. Because previously we weren't, we absolutely weren't able to sustain all of those. All, um, to fill the hotel to its potential, so now we are. And yeah, that's about it. We're still a little bit low on money because sometimes they just come and buy a lot of things, and time is running. Well, time is running fast. Let's let's state it like that. But in terms of crops, these fields are perfectly all right these fields are being harvested which is great i did some small changes around this area because before it was like top was the first distribution office and the bottom was the second one now it's not like it because they obviously were pretty pretty capable of doing the top in time but the bottom they weren't, so I did change it 50-50. So when the farm first saw the top, then both offices can do their work and they can both work at the bottom as well. So that's it. Yeah, as you can see here. We're normally down on money and winter is winter is here. And winter is coming, so well. That's basically it. We have we have been working on some nice stuff all all over the place. As you can see, routes are being done, and these straight pieces there were one-way routes added. And to be fair, we have a fabric factory. There is n there are no crops and no chemicals. Chemicals we can definitely supply, I think, though. This storage can definitely get assigned as well. And to be fair, let's start with one of those fabric factories. Oh, we're missing. I know what you're missing. We're missing asphalt. There could be some fertilizer. Yeah, there is some fertilizer already. But there are currently... If I remember, there are currently no fields because all of these roads are being converted into asphalt. Mainly this one and this one. I hope they will be able to do these ones as well. That's why that's why they are on high priority. But I'm absolutely not sure that they are. So, well, we'll see. And uh, well, this one should be a high priority one as well. That's why we have finished there. Because we need to be able to start it next spring. To be fair, we probably can. Maybe on low, low priority, but we can start laying bases to our main to our, to our great silo. I don't think that low priority will do much, but it's better than nothing. So that's about it. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of things to get constructed. Basically, that's that's what they are. Say. That's what that's what it is to be. As you can see, our trains are slowly working towards our our cement plant and gravel setup and all of this. Yes, which is something like which is something I generally agree. Let's add them these two these two ways as well. I don't think we need the one the one to the left. Let's let's leave them with it. And as you can see, they have already started working. Yeah, they have already started working on the bridge and on our way to the city, to the brand new wine city. That's it. That's what we have. I would like to start producing crops sooner rather than later but 
we do not have our own chemicals, so we need to be we need to lay low, basically. That's that's what I'm saying. And I'm thinking about how are we going to deliver crops, not crops, but clothing to this warehouse and fabric as well. And I think that it will it will be done by the import export office. That's the one we have here. Because they will just no longer load it at customs and but they will load it down there. We are currently using a lot of steel, which is which you can definitely see. Harleden office are working on both of these rails. So we are getting pretty close to our setup, you know, with waste and so on. Which reminds me, we should have a truck that is going on this line and it's the Skoda. It's the Skoda truck. It has top speed of 62. We can definitely replace it with something faster and we should because the dump is getting more and more full. So what I'm thinking is about buying a new waste truck. Because you can see the line is pretty long. So just Pause the game, load it, show me waste trucks, because there definitely should be something faster. Yep, the Kamas truck, orange, I like orange car, it, it can go 80, so that's a really desired improvement. And here it goes, add it to the line. Unassign it from the depot, and there you go. Now we have two trucks there, which should definitely help us coping with the amount of waste that is generated here in the general area. There is some plastic waste as well, which I think should be loaded. It's not getting burned, at least not deliberately. So that's something we need to take into account. And I already, I think I've already assigned it to this distribution office. Though it's probably not a priority for it right now. Because yeah, it can load plastic waste from incinerator in. There's just not enough of it. So we'll keep it like that. There's some bio waste sitting in here. And they are able to process, they are not able to process bio waste. Uh, not in the process, but to take it out. Because Brandywine Waste Yard is this one. But what I want to do is just pause it for the sake of it. Bio waste. And take it. Take it down here. And when it's at least. And it's up to 90% full. Unfinished road. Stucho. Oh, that's the farming area. That's great. So, four, five, one, two, three. This one is... This one is medium priority. We do not need it. We do not need it fast enough, but... This one is definitely needed. But we do not want workers to work there. What I would like to have is fuel. So we can jumpstart the area when, when appropriate. And yeah, we have some tasks in these, in these offices. Or at least some truck is assigned here. So let's hope it... Let's hope it does what, it, what we want. And... Where is it? Yeah, down here. Gas station free, 40 tons, definitely all right. Yeah, and we are having a lot, we are, we are having these nice and fast asphalt trucks. We are slowly getting to the point in the game where we have a lot of, a lot of resources and the best trucks in the game. One of them is definitely... Is definitely the truck we have as we have as a flatbed, 
and I'm not sure in which offices in which office I have it. It's probably the Harnenden one. So let me show it to you. It's the Tatra 813. It cannot carry 30 tons of steel. It can carry 27 tons, but it's really, really good. And yes, export of such pitiful amount is still not great, but well, it's better than 10 tons. So that's what we are going with. To be fair, it's December 1976. We can take a look at all time exports. And as you can see, we are almost in half of what half of power, what is required in power export. The rest are I don't I don't remember those names, those numbers. I probably should print it somewhere in the near future. So I have those numbers some written somewhere, but here we're almost half in required power exports. It doesn't mean we cannot export it further. It's just that it's close for gravels and so on. They are hundred a hundred thousand, so it will take a lot of time to do to do such thing. But we have time. We need to start a lot of further exports, and we need to jumpstart trains. Which brings me to, to to this part of the Republic. We probably should start on at least some of these prisons. And to be fair, we need workers to be working in there. We can try, we can bus workers from down here to the area, but I would like to have more options. One of those options is something I've been thinking about for quite some time, and that is that is to have a direct tram line on top of, you know, train lines. Why? Because trains, trains that will be coming through here are faster than trams, so they will kind of stay in the way of our trains. And trams, uh, road for trams are pretty easy to construct. They are really great. And don't forget, we have oil and bitum and uranium down here. If we if we pick up meters, let's say these are uranium mines and. Yeah, so th this this is an area where where a stop probably should be already. I know it's not. I know it's not great, but well, it's down here. How far is it to to Brandywine? It's four and a half thousand meters. To be fair, that's probably a train job. That's probably a job for trains. Because there's probably no way we are able to get people down there via trams. Because trams are doing going, I like I don't know. We don't we cannot buy them, but we can look at them. Is it tram? Yeah. They go in like the fastest ones are 72 kilometers per hour. And a little bit of math. 70 this game treats distances equal so if one hour uh, one hour in the game is one second in real life so yes days have 60 days last 60 seconds but in terms of distances those vehicles are accu accurate to our real lifetime so when this tram is going 72 then if I'm taking up math, so let me just start my calculator. 72 means, if we divide by 3.6, it means 20 meters per second. So, in 60 seconds, Uh, 
Yeah, the digital number. I need to find out how to cal calculate it. I just forgot, so I'm sorry. But you you are capable of doing such math. Yeah, it's times yeah times sixty because it's per second. So times sixty, it's twelve twelve hundred meters. Twelve hundred meters. It's one point two kilometers in a minute. As one minute equals one hour, and people can travel up to four hours in one vehicle, that gives us, well, times, that gives us 1200 meters times four, that's 4.8 thousand meters traveling distance. So almost five kilometers. Yes, that's the absolute top. And if you if you're looking at the ground distance, you can see it would be pretty hard to do it as crows fly, but it is definitely doable with trains that are going faster. So that's what we are aiming towards. On the other hand, it means we should be uh, we could be able. There's a bauxite hill. And if we are taking our measurement tools, there's a big plane. So let's say there is a stop in the middle. How far is it to backside? And well, please delete previous measurements because there's a backside hill. So if we would have a backside, backside site down here, it's three, it's three kilometers. And the good thing about trams, why am I so eager to use them? The good thing about trams is that they are they, they do not care about snow and about slowing down in the winter, unlike buses. So for backside, we can definitely use trams. And that's what I'm going to. That's what I'm going to mark here in the name if I will be allowed. So that's what we'll have. Now the question is, one more question, is how are we going to get trams down there? Because we will have, we, will have, we are having a long train depot down here. Once we electrify it, we would be able to carry trams into the city. And there is a good reason to do so, because in roads, you have this train railroad connection, and that means that basically marks a spot where trams can enter road road network. Why do we want such thing? It's pretty easy. Because unlike in rail deep, uh, road depots, in, tr in tram depots, you can stack multiple trams in one in one big train, and that's huge. That's absolutely huge because now those trams that have some limit in their numbers, like we can we can look at it, no point in the doing so. If you're looking at maybe total capacity, this is the same one as well. It's 150 people. That's not bad, but you can couple two of these together, and now suddenly you have 300 people per one tram that goes that is available to go anywhere using roads and even share stop with some buses and so on that's absolutely usable that's why i'm thinking about it because it would be great to do to, to have something like that And to be fair, we have a Tarbat. We can have a city of Tarbat down here as well. And then supply workers for, you know, oil and uranium industry all down here. Because it's a huge area. And yes, we can manufacture planes. But also what we what we are having is a, t a ton of you know warehouses 
where people can and distribution of where people where distribution offices can pick up their goods and thus would be able to supply all of this all of this area and the city just doesn't need to be so huge and more importantly we would indeed a, a, a university down there because there's one already in Brandywine and I would be able to construct to construct a line a tram line going down there so now a little bit of measurement because that's that's what we are going to do that's what we are going to plan a bit where yeah there is an entrance to university yeah please do it yeah for five please please have it let's wiggle a bit because that's what we are having We can definitely have a stop that will unload passengers and students down in this corner of the city. I really like it. Because I'm going to plan something I haven't done for quite some time. And that's trams. The only downside of tram stops are workers capacity. That's what we have. Because it has only 250 of them. And yes, I have absolutely no idea how I will how I will wiggle it throughout here. But I will find a way out after after the, after it all will be standing. To be fair, it's not too big deal. What I would probably, what I would not probably, what I would like is to be able to deliver workers from the city to this railway production line and yeah, eventually the scrapping facility. What is good is that you can, you can absolutely upgrade these roads to be able to host trains. So yeah, why not? Why not do it? Uh, this is a heliport, so it can have a gravel road. I do not care. And this is an airport connection, so uh, it, can, it can be asphalted in the future. Those are definitely a low priority, low priority roads. But now we are now we are in a need of in need of a tram line basically, yeah. That's what that's what I want. Because if we'll start in this area we can definitely go over over this crossroad. And then just go over the over the bridge and yeah, join the road. That's what we'll do. It's pretty easy once you know what you're doing. <laughs> and we can even use this old this old piece of a road old piece of a road. We'll just use it as a second bridge. So where are we going to start? And now, will it be will it be a bus bridge or or just I, would I mean a standard asphalt bridge or just a tram only bridge? Because you have two types of roads: you have tram tracks, no access for pedestrians and cars, and road with tram tracks, which yeah has maximum speed of 80. This one has 110. 
but it would definitely help. I think it would definitely help to have a bridge suitable for tram tracks. And as you can see, they have they are pretty similar. And I will do for prefab prefab style bridge because that's what we are. That's what we are going for. What I would like is to have pillars in a pillars in a in an area where it makes sense. Elevation minus six meters. Wow. Okay, can we? Can you make it so it doesn't look completely ugly? Yeah, something like this, alright. This, this can do probably. Yeah, this can be. And yeah, road with tram tracks, tram tracks, and join it at the stop. Now all we know is that this here, this is an area that cannot have and that cannot fit buildings due to possible, you know, pollution. So all buildings. And the brandy wine would need to stay on this on this side. I don't feel I don't feel it is a problem anymore. But it's just so we remember. Oh well, now the question is Will we have another bridge, or do we con or do we convert maybe this bottom route to a tram route as well? Because I have no idea, and we will need to get our trams to to the other side, the area of of the city. We need a through corridor, basically. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. And yes, I can totally elevate it from here up, go over those those other tracks. Can I even go over all of these roads? Pro it's probably a really bad idea, but I just want to try it. And yes, I'm I'm sure it is a bad idea. So one, two, three. You can just you know let it snap. Let it snap and go over. Yeah, there's no way. What we can do is F4, just turn off the snapping. Now we can get over down here. It doesn't look great. But it works. Can we do it once more? Yeah, F4. So this is the first part of the bridge. That is quite a long stretch. But it's not hideous. Now it's looking with elevations. <laughs> it's kind of going into into those big wires. Yeah, it's definitely it would definitely not be safe. So not. I do care too much. Okay. Right. 
Let's take it down from here. Yeah, minus 5 meters from here is feels alright. Oh, this one is definitely better than what we had before. Too steep of an accent. Yeah, I understand because. Yeah, this is it. This is what I can live with. Live with, and. And then to get it through. That would take some time as well. Though to be fair, we can have we can definitely build a small tram stop in this area so we can have some services. Services built in here as well. Because that's what we ask that's what we strive in the end. Road tunnel with tram tracks. Can we build something like that? We can build something like that in here. That's cool. That's definitely something I want. So maybe we need a better angle. Yep. Now we have the angle. We have rotated it. And then we are ready. Then we are ready to have tram tracks in this general area as well. I have no idea what I want here. But I know it will work. And I know it might be a, an absolutely great city. And that's what, I, that's what we strive for. Because yes, you can see there's some something like a main road. Main road coming through. Oh, don't want tunnel. But I can totally just take something like a standard standard road from the tunnel. And then take some measurement, measurement tools. Yeah, delete all points. Well, these are three, three hundred, three hundred meters, so we can totally expand to and over this creek any way we want. So what I will do is I will build two larger tram stops. One will be on this side, and the other one will be right here and what I will do with them I'll just yeah, I'm just uh, tone it down a bit what I will do with these is that one of them will be for students and for passengers that will go to the city to this stop and the other one will be for workers going towards the bauxite area. And now the last piece of a puzzle, so we are not doing the roads. Roads all the time. First we need to get the bridge down. Can we do it? Yeah, we, we can. We can do it here. I think we even should be able to do it a little more in a m more beautiful way. Yes, and now I know it just, you know, turns turns around. Ah, yeah, we have one to 
1 to 10 great down. Not great, not terrible. Feels kind of up, up, what the what the hell just happened? What 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 was that? Okay, this is it. This is what we're having. Please suspend construction of this one. Because that's something we definitely do not need right now. The rest of it is inaccessible. Which feels... Which feels great. The same goes for this bridge. We do not need it assigned as well. Yes, and then just maybe... Well, we can place the tram stop right next to this. Tomorrow would definitely be... Be of sufficient capacity. So, yeah, it will be this one. And now tram tracks for, you know, pedal... No, without. That pedestrians cannot. Cannot walk on. Because that's what we strive for. Road with tram tracks. That's what we need. In this area. Yeah. That's what, that's what we do need. This will be a connection road. And then there is this piece of road that goes absolutely nowhere. And this is asphalt part. And now the way that will that will look better. As the concrete one, the prefab one, we can say. They will go in parallel. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, we don't. Have, we do not have an excavator. Well, it looks smooth enough. So okay. Well, it looks, but it's not. All right. Can we please? Yeah, we can. We can definitely smooth these things out a bit. I don't care if it goes a little bit up or down. Just I don't just do not want. I just do not want it to look look silly when trams will go well, over it. Well, finished. That's done. Once I'll have time, I can. I will prob no, probably just move it down here. Trams can cross. Trams can definitely cross lines if needed. Uh, railroad lines, I mean. So they probably will at some point do do so here. And there will also be something like a railroad crossing and then the tram line will go. Will go to the Farbat area and I have no idea. How the city will look like. Should probably start placing some oil in the future. But I forgot to turn on. The timer in time and once i remembered it was quite 
it was a little bit late. So what we'll do now, so we don't forget, is to add all these nice pieces. Pieces of road to our main line. Our main road, you can say. And yep, there will be there will be few more, which I adore. Construction off finished. Yeah, I know. So now we have how many? We have. We have 12 fields. Probably need more tractors. And now we have time, so yeah. One, two, oh, three, four. Let's have let's have eight down here. Yep, some gra gravel is already here. No concrete. Okay. Okay, can you please finish this one first? That would be great, to be honest. That would be great. Because then I can, yeah, then I can just transport some chemicals and clothing and all, all that just down there. Yeah, asshole paper is coming. That's good. Okay, so high priority on this one as well. So that paper can get elsewhere. This one is not needed, it's just a connection between those two parts. It will be useful for these distribution offices. Ow, oh, wow. There's a roller down here already. And there should be a roller coming. Yeah, they will transport this one probably. <laughs> Okay, it looks promising. It definitely looks promising. Looks like a great harvest is coming. So that it obviously means we need to build, we need to not build, but buy a lot of trucks to be able to sustain the production. But it's on, it's it's on its way. It looks like this year, 1977, we'll be able to put up clothing, put up a clothing industry. Which is some, definitely something I wasn't thinking of recently. Oh, there's, there's another asphalt paper. I'm not putting this one as high priority. Definitely not needed. Oh, it was it was the route. Okay. It was the same one I've been looking earlier. But that's it. The only thing I need to do is for the ability to bring to bring trams down down to this area is to de is to demolish this pavement. It shouldn't be too big of a problem. Okay, we have, do not have demolition office in Brandywine. Well, we are not in a hurry, so I'm I'm okay with it. transporting gravel anyway okay you have you have, you have what is it tiger here well let's just let them finish their tasks that's what i'm asking and that's it so thank you for for your attention attention see you in one month once they demolish it i just connect the road and then we'll wait for the rest and yeah see you have a nice day and like and comment, subscribe if you're not already. And tell me what you would like to see next. And if you have some questions and want me to bring, bring up more tips and tutorials, just ask. I'm here for you guys. Bye bye.